Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's Rob here. How's it going today? Hope it's going good. Today we're going to be using the new LMG. I don't remember what it's called, so we're going to go into create a class here and take a look. It's called the Bruin MK9. Um, not sure where they came up uh, with that name. Uh, I don't know if the guy who designed the gun or like you know, it looks like it's based off of a, a, a real gun. The M2040 uh, saw, I think it's called, something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know if the designer is a big Boston Bruins fan. Potentially, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> we're, uh, what do we got? We got, it's level 31, uh, which isn't too high isn't too low it's kind of in the medium i've been using it a little bit um probably for around five matches so far been running double weapon xp just because i wanted to level it up and uh for platinum on it i already have platinum for the lmgs um i don't know if i have an lmg on any of these classes but I'll show you guys what that looks like we'll throw on this one here good old mg42 with platinum Pretty pretty good looking, not gonna lie. It's a little shiny. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're uh, working on the saw. I'm also working on uh, the Holger kind of at the same time. Uh, I kind of stopped working on it because Shoot House 24 7 went away. Um, or the other playlist, I think it's called Shoot the Ship, uh, went away. So I stopped working on that because I don't like doing long shots and really any other map other than Shoot House. Shoot House is great for long shots. You just set up in the middle uh, on that little head glitch and just shoot to your heart's content until you get enough long shots. Um, you can actually kill two birds with one stone on that spot. You can get mounted kills and uh, um, long shots. And you get headshots too. What are, we, what are we talking about? You can get every challenge on there. It's a great spot, but uh, today we're going to be using the Bruin. And I... I think you guys like watching me play hardcore, so we're going to go into hardcore, and um, yeah, we're just going to mess around with it, see if we can pull off some crazy clips. I think we'll do we'll do a shipment 24-7, and we'll do a shoot house 24-7, and uh, just in case this, this is a good gameplay, I'll just show you guys the uh, class setup I'm running just beforehand, just in case you want to copy me and make it your class not necessarily copy me because like you know just get inspiration from me <laughs> if you want to use that word um but yeah i got uh just the first barrel on uh 23 inch got the one millimeter laser on um i might switch that out mid game for a suppressor but suppressor is not really necessary in shoot house obviously because it's like what do you need to be off the mini map for or be have your bullets not sound as loud you know it doesn't really matter like the map's so small it's irrelevant so probably won't use that maybe on shoot house if we play some shoot house uh for the foregrip i am running the commando foregrip from what i understand that's what all the competitive players use so i usually stick to that but uh i'll also use the operator or the ranger foregrip depending on the class i find those are pretty good foregrips too um, but yeah, right now we just have the commando for a grip unlocked. So we'll, we'll use that. I have the 200 round belt on just because I think it has around a hundred bullets and I don't want to reload this thing because it takes forever. So if I throw 200 on there. I'd never really have to worry about reloading, especially in a hardcore, like the maximum streak you're probably going to go on is like a 10. Obviously you can go higher than that, but on average, so 200 should last you 10 kills if you have good aim and <clears throat> A little birth there. We have sight of hand on. Um, I guess I don't really need sight of hand if I'm running the 200 round belt mag. Don't really know why I had that on there. We'll switch that out actually. Uh, uh, I don't want to put on granulated grip tape. It's kind of doesn't really do much to your gun. Doesn't change the statistics too much. Uh, faster aim down walking speed. You would think it's a pro. It is a pro for most players. Like most players would consider an attachment like this really good. It's kind of like the old school stock from other Call of Duties. I personally don't like it because it uh, messes with my aim. I uh, am really used to each gun's uh, strafing. And 
I aim. I don't know. I aim with my left stick a lot. So if that strafing is at a different speed, it fucks with me. So I don't like it too much. So we won't throw that on. Um, the iron sights are good on this gun, but since we don't, we have room for another attachment. Let's just throw on a red dot, I guess. Um, I like the Viper and the GI. Let's throw the Viper on though. And just to show you guys, I also have the blue dot for the Viper. Um, or well, for all of the red dots, um, or reflex sights, I meant to say. You can get that just by completing challenges. You kind of just get it over time. Like I think I have 11 hour, 11 days into this game and you know, just over time you'll get it. You do have to go out of your way to work on some of the challenges. Cause you'll see like they're all different, uh, for different reflex sites. Like you have the Viper in there a couple times. Um, they aim op. You basically are working on each type of reflex and you're doing the same challenges. So, uh, it looks like you do 200 kills with that reflex site and then you get 50 headshots with it. Rinse and repeat. Um, and then you have to do that, uh, four, six, eight, ten. So you have to do that for five different reflex sites, uh, for a total of 10 challenges, which isn't too bad. Uh, if you just, if you like the reflex sites in this game and, uh, just gives you something to work on kind of casually on the side. And then when you do get that final blue dot, it is quite nice. I do like it. Uh, um, I would say as much as the red dot, like it doesn't, doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, but let's get into a game here. <laughs> um, I think I covered all my bases there. Load into a game here. Um, just while we're waiting to get in a game, I'll also I'll I will also mention I obviously can't talk. First off, second off, um, I have a podcast that I do with my dad called uh, Which One. Um, basically, what happens in that podcast is we will talk about a topic or a subject. Um, either put two things against each other or we will go head to head on our opinions on the topic. And then at the end of the episode, we'll kind of end it and ask you guys, uh, which one of us won, which one of us you think has the better opinion or which, uh, subject or item versus each other was better. Um, it's really fun. We're, uh, we're love, we love doing it so far. We're starting to blow up. I'm hoping we can get on iTunes soon. And if we do, uh, that'd be great. You guys can leave reviews and hopefully get the podcast to grow even more. Um, okay, here we go. A little double kill right off the bat there. Good start. Okay, let me get my bearings here. Oh, it's a good start here. Spawns are all out of whack. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't know why I'm yelling. <laughs> uh... Oh lord, I feel like my sensitivity is all whack right now, but I think we're good now. Occasionally I'll find that will happen with my controller in this game. I don't know what it is, but like the uh, the stick sensitivity will change or it will like lag. And it's really odd and it, it's really annoying, but let's make the most of it. All right. I kind of like this spawn and just kind of sit in the corner where I'm at. Uh, you could call it corner camping, but on shipment, like, what else are you going to do? Because if you run around in hardcore on shipment, you're going to die. Like, let's be honest. Uh, like, that, those two guys just spawned right beside me, and then I spawned beside them, and then my teammates spawned there. Like, those spawns are so random. If you try and move around, like, you're bound to die, like, especially when it only takes a bullet or two. So, yeah, I, I highly recommend spawn in and kind of just dominate that corner you spawn into and uh you'll find uh you do pretty well like right now i kind of understand where they're spawning from i can see they're spawning on the right there and then i'm gonna check the left side and see if they're gonna come and they are there's probably gonna be one more at least but now the side's gonna switch this guy's gonna try and push me he slid under me which uh is a good play on his part but we're gonna pull this wheelson out the wheelson on shipment and hardcore is unreal check this out it's literally a one shot. Like usually you have to hit a couple shots on the, uh, your targets with the Wilson, but, uh, in hardcore, it just absolutely annihilates anyone it runs into. Like I'm literally, I literally just got like eight kills there in a span of like 15 seconds. That's unreal. But, uh, there's guys are going to come around this corner right in front of me here. So I'm literally just going to start pre-firing. Yep. Look at that. 
Oh, that guy came around. I stopped shooting. Probably should have kept shooting, but I didn't know he was coming. What can you do? Uh, actually, you know what? Oh, that guy spawned on me. While we're in this crate, let's call in this cruise missile and uh, see what we can do with it. Here we go. One kill, I'll take it. Uh, you'll find the cruise missiles compared to the predator missiles from old games isn't as good, but like, I think it's a, it's a gift and a curse. Like the cruise missiles were pretty OP back in the day. And like, sometimes they would kind of like cheese you out. Like you'd be in a building and they would penetrate the building. Like that sucks. You don't want that to happen in this game. That rarely happens because they don't have as big as a, of a blast radius. And, um, yeah, I honestly, it can be frustrating at times when you see free guys like kind of close together where a regular Predator missile would kill them and then the cruise missile doesn't. But you could still get quite big uh, multi kills with the cruise missiles if you're lucky. Especially in like hardcore where they have less health. But what I find to be a big problem in hardcore shipment, or at least something that I find I get frustrated with, is uh, friendly fire. What will happen a lot of the times is you'll uh, have a teammate spawn in front of you and uh, you'll shoot them. Like the first couple times you, you're free to shoot them, like they'll die, unfortunately. And that sucks for them that they spawned right in front of their teammate that was already firing. But after the second time, you get what's called ricochet or friendly fire ricochet. Uh, essentially how that works is if you friendly fire somebody. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I choked the VTOL. That, that's OK. Um but yeah, what I was saying, essentially what Friendly Fire Ricochet does is it uh, kind of reflects uh, the damage you did to your, you would have done to your teammate back onto you. And in hardcore, you die in one to two shots. Uh, I didn't get to call that Wilson in, but you'll... So yeah, you die in one to two shots and um, that essentially gets put back on you. So I don't know what I'm trying... I don't know. I can't find the sentences to complete what I'm trying to say here. I just had a brain fire because I really wanted to, <laughs> to use that Wilson and I didn't get to, but it is what it is. But yeah, but go on. I think I found my bearings. Uh, essentially what the uh, ricochet does is it reflects the damage back onto you and it will kill you. So like you'll be shooting at somebody and all of a sudden your teammate spawns in front of you and you kill yourself <laughs> from you essentially kill yourself because uh, of the friendly fire ricochet, which sucks. Uh, it really does. But what can you do? That's just one of the frustrations I have with that map, but pretty good gameplay, I must say, to start it off. Uh, uh, I just burped again. Uh, let's see how we did. 41 and 19, a 2.16 uh, KD ratio. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Teammates could have done better. Seeing a lot of negative uh, KDs on my team, it's okay. It is what it is. We won. Uh Wow. Uh, TDM on shipment 5v5 goes up to 150. That's cool. I like that. I remember like the older Call of Duties, like I know, I think World War II and Black Ops 4, not necessarily the older Call of Duties, but the Call of Duties that came before this. Um, the developers at the time, uh, or the studio heads, decided that let's make TDM 75 kills and let's keep our small maps and what ended up happening is the games would just not last very long and that kind of sucks so everyone would always ask like where's the 100 score limit for tdm and that was kind of a thing I just that just came into my mind when i was thinking about that but they fixed that problem in this game thank god uh which i'm happy with i don't like uh just playing to 75 kills because yeah the games are too short um it doesn't give you sufficient time to get the streaks you want like obviously you can get them like you can get lucky and get like a good amount of kills but like most of the time you won't and if you're popping off like and you do get your kill streak you probably won't get much time with it um as well if like your whole team's popping off good luck getting kill streak like if you have a solid team and everyone's going for kill streaks like good luck pop like you'll win every game but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. We're kind of sucking right now. Uh, let's get our bearings here. Oh, grenade. You hate to see it. Don't. Why do you have to do me like that? Um. Oh, just spawned me on that guy. And then my teammate killed me, unfortunately. Oh, that was the guy who killed me earlier. Sorry, buddy. You, you got in my way. Slide under that guy. Jump shot that guy. 
Pre-fire. Pre-fire. Oh, they spawn on the corner. That's okay. I'm going to keep pre-firing because it seems like they're coming from that way. Oh, don't want to shoot my teammate there by accident. Okay. Oh, shit. I was about to switch to the other side, but that guy pushed up on me. Oh, yeah. Triple kill. That guy just spawned there. That's unfortunate. Oh, a little too Swayze there. Patrick Swayze. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. Um, Harpon on this map is uh, a little more complicated to learn, I would say, for people looking to master uh, the shipment 24-7 playlist. The, the spawns seem to be more erratic. Um, fancy term there. And uh, random, I guess, is in simpler terms. And the playing style is a little bit different. Like, I personally uh change up my style a little bit like obviously like tdm i i kind of stay in a corner and it you can do that in a hard point but what i'll try and do is i actually try and get on these like little head glitches here like it's like this blue barrel is a really good spot for example and um oh that guy just spawned behind me but if they they'll basically spawn on that corner over there for like a good amount of time depending on where the hard point is you have to obviously adjust to a different barrel uh depending on the hard point but yeah uh, they'll just keep spawning and that head glitch is really hard to, to hit um, especially when you're mounted on it uh, because it's right around that corner like look at this if I'm coming around this corner I have this barrel in front of me like the second I step out like my arms are already coming around that corner before I can even see the guy and I'm dead um, if you have good reaction time at least but yeah pretty effective strategy like this this is a good barrel here um, oh that guy got me from behind and came in front. That was the sandwich position there for a stem text. I do like to run stem text on basically all my classes. Um, I just find it's a very uh, consistent uh, lethal. Um, unlike frag grenade, I find it uh, gets more kills. I don't know why. I feel like it has either more blast radius or damage. I don't know what it is, to be honest, but... It also has the same timer. You throw it and it's going to blow up at the same time. And once you start learning that timer, you like learn how high you need to throw it to hit a certain spot. And it just you start popping off, essentially, um, as I am right now. I just got a VTOL jet. I just got a nice little streak there. Sometimes uh, you'll find yourself in a position where you're behind the enemy lines and you can just go to town, especially on hardcore, where it's easy to get multi-kills when it's only a one-shot, two-shot kill. You know what I mean? Um, oh fuck, I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. I'm honestly just gonna call this Wilson in here. What I do a lot of times, uh, if I need to get a kill streak in on this map and I want to get it in right away, I'll just lay down and call it in. Cause like, you're probably gonna die anyways in the next two seconds or two to five seconds, so might as well call it in. And there's no point of hiding anywhere. Uh, you're luckily gonna be found again because it's such a small map, but yeah. See if we can pop off with this wheelson this time. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, looks like my VTOL is popping off too. Love to see that. I'll call this cruise missile in. And we still got two minutes left in this game. We're at 40 kills. It's pretty good. I like that. Uh, I think I just ricocheted myself there. What can you do? Somehow. Oh, I did get a kill cruise missile somehow. That's weird. I didn't show any points on my screen, or maybe I'm blind, I don't know. Oh yes, look at all these multi-kills. That's mad points. It would actually be sick if the Prestige system was like the classic Prestige system, because I'd be like, I don't know what Master Prestige, but... I'm already at max, 155 for the season, so XP's irrelevant. Um, yeah, I guess it's irrelevant to even go for like certain challenges with... The prestige system they have in this game. It, it really is uh, not great. I don't like it, to be honest. It's cool that, like, it refreshes every season and everyone's kind of on an even playing field, but, like, what about the completionists? Like, I feel like a lot of, like, the fans of Call of Duty are completionists and they like to, you know, show off what they've completed and how much hours they put in the game. It's kind of hard to do that in this game. Um, like, the only way you can really show off is. Um, you complete your season, you get to 155, which the majority of players do, I would say, or you get Damascus, um, or I guess they added Obsidian now, which is a good add, uh, that gives it a, a completion is another, uh, thing to go after, but, uh, I think, I think their, uh, strategy or, like, mentality was the problem in this game, like, 
I remember them saying when this game came out that they wanted to essentially make the guns like the main thing in this game, not like your character, uh, not like the maps, but the guns are like the superstar of the game. So they kind of did do that. They had, uh, you know, weapon levels and the guns did take quite a long time to level up, but why, why not add like weapon procedures or something like that? Like if you're going to make the weapons so important, like add some more shit to them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, but they could have handled it a little bit better, but that's my personal opinion. I'm sure a lot of people like this procedure system and, I'll tell you, you know, it's not bad. It's not great. Like, I would say compared to, um, I think the other procedure system I didn't enjoy too much was ghosts. It was, like, really weird. You had, like, a new squad member every time. It was weird. I don't know. But anyways, we're doing pretty good still. 55 kills. Not too bad. Uh, oh, I don't know what just occurred there. Slide back in. Whoa, that guy just blew himself up. Trying to see for me. Oh, friendly fire ricochet. Oh, where are these guys spawning? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, they're... Oh, no. <laughs> I saw that C4, and in my head, I was like, yep, you're dead. There we go. That's the game. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've uh, been watching this long, I tip my hat, my hat to you. That's uh, extremely awesome, and I, I love you for it. I love you guys. I'm going to head out. Check out the podcast. See you later.